Okay, students and parents and possibly teachers, let's say I'm on my Chromebook and my teacher has posted my Zoom information in Canvas. So that's what we're going to do next. If you open up Canvas and go to where the teacher has posted the Zoom information, here it is. Just click on that. And remember in the previous video, we learned that Zoom, the best ideal situation is you install the app and you are already logged in. Let me check that. I'm going to click on my Zoom app. I'm going to see that my name and my avatar and or photo, whichever one that you use, is in the top left corner of the app. Um, if I'm not sure, I'm going to click this little search bar in the bottom left corner and look for Zoom. You're looking for not a website, not something that you've referred to before, but this icon here. I already have mine running, so now I'm going to switch back to Canvas. I'm going to see that there is a link and there's also an ID and passcode for this particular meeting. For some reason, this one isn't clickable. That's okay. I can just simply copy control C on the keyboard of the Chromebook or right click and choose copy. The way that I did a right click on this particular Chromebook is I took two fingers and tapped them side by side, kind of spread out like this, and then clicked the trackpad. It's a two finger click on a trackpad to right click. So copy. After you select copy, you'll want to pull up a new tab and paste, right click and paste or control V, press enter. What it will do, I know earlier we talked about not using the browser, which you can use the browser. That's going to be our other method I'll talk about next. But what it does, we launch it in the browser, but then it, it knows that this Chromebook has the Zoom app installed. So it pulled that up. I don't know if you can see that at the bottom, but on the shelf, I can see the Zoom app running. And then I'm going to start my video, join with video. And there is my message that the teacher is going to let me into the Zoom. I'm going to admit this student and now they're in. Again, remember you always want to be logged in so your teacher knows who to admit, admit into the Zoom.